Hello students and welcome to your new lecture session. I am Shankho Ghosh, Assistant Professor of Automobile Engineering Department at Dr. Shudhi Chandra Shud Degree Engineering College under the JIS Group. Today, we we'll discuss a new topics of modern vehicle technology, which is the seventh semester automobile engineering subject. Today, we will discuss a new topic that is retarder braking system. This is the topics. This topics is. Covered the module number two, which is known as the suspension, braking, and safety. The objective of this topic is that to understand the retarder braking systems, to understand the its working cost nature. to understand how it helps then the conventional over the conventional braking system and the outcomes of this braking system is that to understand to knowing the regenerative braking system its various types and their working principle so students let's start the new topic that is retarder braking system a retarder is a device used to augment of replace some of the functions of primary function based braking system usually on heavy vehicles retarder serve to slow vehicle retarder serve to slow vehicle or maintain a steady speed and maintain a steady speed while traveling while traveling down a hill and it help to prevent the vehicle from running away by accelerating down the hill they are not usually capable of bringing to a standstill as their effectiveness diminishes as vehicle speed lowers they are usually used as an additional assistance to slow vehicles with a final breaking down breaking down by a conventional friction breaking system as the friction as the friction brake will be used less particularly at higher speed their service life is increased and since in those vehicles the brakes are air actuated this helps which helps to conserve air pressure too the friction based 
braking system the friction brake the friction based braking system are susceptible to brake fit when used extreme when used extensively for continuous period which can be dangerous if braking performance drops below the what it required to stop the vehicle for instance intense instance if a truck or bus is descending a long decline for this reason such heavy vehicles are frequently fitted with a supplementary system that is not the friction based the retarder are not the restricted to road motor vehicles but may also be used in railway systems the british prototype advanced passenger train or aet advanced passenger train used hydraulic retarders used hydraulic retarders to allow the high speed train to stop in the same distance as standard lower speed train as a pure friction based system was not visible so the so basically retarders are not restricted to road motor vehicle but may also be used in railway system the british prototype advanced passenger train or apt use the hydraulic retarders to allow the high speed train to stop in the same distance as stand standard lower speed train as a pure friction based was not visible the retarders are to slow the vehicle or maintain a steady speed on the climb and help and it help to prevent the vehicle running away by accelerating down the decline they are not usually capable of bringing the vehicle to a standstill as they are effective effectiveness diminishes as the vehicle speed lower they are actually used as an additional assistance to slow vehicles with the final breaking down by a conventional friction breaking system as the friction brake will be used less particularly at higher speed their service life is their service life is increased so students these are the basics of or the introduction portion of this retard now see the new slide that is the types of the retard basically retarders are the three types one is hydraulic retarders second one is 
electrical retarder and third one is engine retarder these are the three retarder types so let's start with this hydraulic retarder Hydraulic retarder uses the viscous drag force between dynamic and static vanes in a fluid filled chamber to achieve retardation there are several different types which can use standard transmission fluid a separate oil supply or water <coughs> a simple retarder uses vanes attached to a transmission drive set between the clutch and road wheel they can also be driven separately via gears of a drive shaft the vanes are enclosed in a static chamber with small clearance to the chamber's wall as in an automatic transmission when retardation is required fluid is pumped when retardation is required the fluid is pumped the sorry, the fluid is pumped into the chamber fluid is then the viscous drag induces the wheel slow the vehicle the working fluid will heat and is usually circulated through a cooling system the degree of retardation can be can be vary by adjusting the fill level of the chamber the hydraulic retarders are extremely quiet often in audible over the sound of a running engine and are especially quiet operation compared to the engine brakes so students hydraulic retarder use so a simple retarder when now is attached in the transmission drive shaft the clutch and the road so students as you can see in this picture this is the engine from here the transmission this is the transmission this is the increasing gear and there it goes to the drive shaft the drive shaft which is connected with the rotor and the starter this the unit is known as called as the hydraulic retarder then drive shaft to the main reducer and then the p as i as we learned earlier 
of that the torque converter in the in case here in the highly retarder the co torque converter is used the torque converter basically the torque converter is used in this hydraulic retarder here the transmission fluid a separate oil supply water or a mixture of oil and magnetic retardation this retarder uses vanes attached to the transmission drive shaft in between the clutch and the rotor and they are and also be driven separately by the gear of a drive shaft the vanes are enclosed in a static chamber with a small clearance with a small clearance to the chamber wall as in of automatic transducer sorry automatic transmission when retardation is required fuel is pumped into the chamber the fuel is pumped into the chamber the viscous drag induced will slow the vehicle the working fluid will heat and is usually circulate through a cooling system the degree of retardation can be derived by adjusting the fuel level of the chamber so student these are the hydraulic retarder next is electrical retarder electrical retarder use electromagnetic induction to provide a retardation force electrical retarder uses electric magnetic electrical retarder uses electric magnetic induction magnetic induction to provide a retardation force and acceleration and acceleration retardation unit and acceleration and so an electric retardation unit an electric retardation unit can be placed on an axle can be placed on an axle transmission or the drive line and this consists of rotor attached to the axle transmission or the drive line and a starter securely attached to the vehicle chassis the electric so basically the electric retardation in the basically the electric retardation unit can be placed placed on an axle transmission or the drive this electric retardation unit this electric retardation unit consists of consists of a rotor attached to the axle transmission of drive line and a starter securely attached to the vehicle chassis starter securely attached to the vehicle chassis there are no contact surface there are no contact surfaces between the rotor and the starter and it has no working fluid there has no contact surface in between the rotor and the starter and it has no working fluid when retardation is required when the retardation is required the electrical winding in the starter receive power from the vehicle battery the electrical winding in the starter the electrical winding in the starter receive 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 power from the vehicle battery and producing a 
magnetic field producing a magnetic field for a rotor to move in this induces eddy current in the motor which produces an opposing magnetic field to the starter the opposing magnetic field slow the rotor and hence the axle transmission or drive shaft and hence the axle transmission or the drive shaft to which it is attached the rotor incorporates the internal vanes the rotor incorporates internal vanes to provide its own air cooling to provide its own air cooling so no load is placed on the vehicles in the cooling system so no no load is placed on the vehicles in the cooling system the operation of the system is extremely quiet the operation of the system is extremely quiet a hybrid vehicle a hybrid vehicle drive train uses electrical retardation a hybrid vehicle drive train uses electrical retardation to assist the mechanical brake while recycling the energy also the electric traction motor acts as a generator to charge the battery the power stored in the battery is available the power the power stored in the battery is available to help the vehicle accelerate to help the vehicle accelerate regenerative braking and the ad current braking are separated type of electric braking <coughs> regenerated braking might not be classified as a retarder as it uses no extra physical hardware in addition to the existing rotor starter pair of the motor it effectuates braking by using the electric field created by the rotational inertia in the rotor starter that is delivered into the rotor by the momentum of the wheel additional circuitry in the controller is used to manage this current flow from the stator winding into the battery some of which dissipates as heat within the circuitry of the controller in constant contrast ed current retarder breaks comprise a distinct and 
पर्पस बी स्टैटिक आर्मेचर एंड रोटर दैट आर एक्सप्लिसिटली मेड एंड एडेड टू ए व्हीकल फॉर ब्रेक एंड डिसिपेशन ऑफ हीट एंड डिसिपेशन ऑफ हीट and not for the motive power it is a purpose the wheel system distinct from the motor finally dynamic braking is the complex use of controller braking where the controller can be used either for regenerative braking or by switching the circuit to feed the current to resistors in this letter way rheostatic braking can be achieved whereas an ad brake relies on ad current to create the magnetic resistance some of which is incidentally dissipated as heat rheostat braking relies on controller circuit resistor which directly dissipates current bound electric energy as heat some dynamic braking vehicles describe the rheostatic braking as plug brake in in particular fork lift dynamic braking has been developed to take advantage of combining this type of braking with controller specialized to quickly reverse vehicle direction so so and this is the electric retarder here you can see in the picture this is the chassis of a heavy truck this is the steering engine is placed here and this is the electric retarder this kind of this side frame so this is the electric retarder now comes to the next portion of the engine retarder the engine retarder the engine retarder uses the engine compression stroke uses the engine compression stroke to absorb energy from the to absorb the energy from the vehicle's motion normally the piston compresses the cylinder air to the uh, for the next power stroke and this compression of the cylinder air takes the air takes energy that energy is normally provided by other cylinder which is in which is in its power stroke the engine compression the engine compression retarder uses up the vehicle motion energy during the compression stroke of each piston because the other cylinder are not producing the power during their power stroke time interval no 
or insignificant engine power is generated because the throttle must be at the ideal position for the retarder to operate. During the retarder mode of operation, during the retarder mode of operation, when the piston approaches, when the piston approaches the top of the compression stroke, the piston approaches the top of the compression stroke, the retarder system, the within the retarder systems open the exhaust valve. The retarder system opens the exhaust valve for that piston which vents the energy which was absorbed from the vehicle's motion which vents the energy which was absorbed from the vehicle's motion. The retarder works by absorbing energy during the compression stroke and throwing away this energy through the exhaust valve as the piston completes its compression stroke. The most popular, the most popular engine compression retarder is the jack brake. This is a retarder system is manufactured by Jacob Manufacturing Company and their production is available for the Caterpillar, Cummins, Detroit Diesel, and Mac engines. Thus, to name a few. So, students, you see the picture. There is the camshaft. This is a fuel injector, rocker arm, the piston ring, piston. This is the exhaust valve. This is the high pressure oil passes check valve, actuator port actuator valve. So student, this is the electric, sorry, engine retard. From this picture, this is the, this is the picture of the engine retarder the electric signal the electric signal activates the solenoid valve the electric signal activates the solenoid valve the active solenoid valve then the then the active solenoid valve applies engine oil then the active solenoid valve applies the engine oil pressure to the control valve engine oil pressure to the control valve the engine oil pressure force move the ported push piston of the control valve up 
until the piston port aligns the aligns with the high pressure oil passage for the slip piston the check valve is in the control valve the check valve in the control valve allows the engine oil pressure to fill with the slip piston and the master piston and the master piston voids by the high pressure high pressure oil passage as the cylinder completes its compression stroke the cylinder injector push rod rises and lifts the master piston this forces the oil out from above the master piston into the slip piston remember that the check valve remember that the check valve valve is the control valve prevents the high oil pressure from bleeding back into the lower pressure engine oil supply lower pressure engine oil supply as the injector push rod moves upward the slip piston pushes down on the exhaust cross head which opens the exhaust valve this releases the compressed air which provided the retarder braking action when the retarder is deactivated the solenoid valve vents the engine oil pressure which allows the control valve spring to allow lower its ported piston which seal of the high pressure oil passage to activate the check brake four equipment must be met we shown in this figure the dash switch must be on the dash switch must be on the clutch must be engaged the clutch must be engaged the throttle must be at ideal the throttle must be at ideal and the driver and or cruise control must have activated the heater the um, heater engine rpm must be keep high for the most retarder effect the engine rpm must be keep high for the most retarder effect so student these are the working methods of the jake breaking functional diagram or engine compression or engine retarder <coughs> so students today in this class will will learn from this class about the retarder its various type and their functions so next topics we will discuss on the next class so still then stay at home and stay safe thank you thank you so much students